Hi everyone, I want to mention some of the questions of thermal expansion in this video. So, uh, before starting with the applications of thermal expansion, we have to know that the expansion between increase in size uh, of the particles or of the object because of the increasing or changing in temperature. So, sometimes this expansion may be dangerous, sometimes may be useful. So, the first expansion application that we have is the expansion joints or expansion gaps on the highway bridge. So maybe you pass through the bridge inside the car and you hear some sound like tap 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 tap. So this sound it comes from the expansion gaps or expansion joints that's located between blocks of the highway bridge. This expansion gaps or expansion joints give a gap or room where the uh, blocks of the highway joints increase in their size because of the uh, increasing temperature so uh, it can break because of this expansion joints. So if there is no expansion joint inside the highway bridge during the hot day of summer, the expansion joints, uh, sorry, the expansion blocks inside the highway bridge increase in their size and cause the breaking of the highway bridge. After that, the second one that we have it is by metallic strip in the thermostat inside uh, the heater. So the thermostat, it's made up of two coiled metal, different metal. If we have different metal, it means different expansion. It means they have different response to temperature and they will expand. And this one is a tube with mercury. And we know that mercury is a liquid, can conduct electricity. If this mercury in this side, the electricity, th this circuit is open, and the heater uh, is off, but when this mercury is comes to this side, cause the connection of these two metals, and the heater is on. So uh, you can see uh, this video for more uh, explanation. This is just a short little video to show you how a thermostat works with a bimetallic strip. So this would actually be the cover that we would see on top of our thermostat. And the switch that's right here actually come out the bottom. So the inner workings of the thermostat um, are we have the switch right here that moves back and forth as we want to turn the temperature up and down. We actually have a bimetallic strip in around here that's coiled around. And then we have a capsule that has a mercury bubble in it right here. The mercury is a metal, so it will conduct electricity. And when the mercury is in that position is going to connect the two wires that are at the end. So we said if the mercury in this position, it's because the uh, close of the circuit by metallic screen. So now the heater is on, but and it's going to turn on the furnace by closing the circuit. When it's over here, it's not. But when mercury comes to this side, it means the uh, electric circuit is open and the heater off going to do that. So when we want to turn the heat up, that means we turn it this way and the mercury bubble goes in to connect the circuit. The bimetallic strip will eventually heat up and it will uncoil and it will eventually turn like this. When it cools down again, it's going to slip back and turn the furnace back on again. Okay, the last thermal expansion is the uh, application that we have in this thermal expansion in hot air in uh, air balloon. May you have an idea about this one because you can see a lot of colorful balloons that use a hot air to uh, float or raise in uh, air by uh, increasing the temperature inside the uh, in increasing the temperature of air inside the balloon. So during increasing the temperature, we know that the space between the particles of air increase by increasing the space between particles inside the air. So the air inside the balloon become less dense and can raise inside the air and go to up, up and away. So for more explanation, we have this video.
inside the air balloon. So by increasing the temperature of air, of the distance or the space between particles increase, by increasing the distance uh, between particles inside air, this air inside the balloon becomes less dense than the around air, so it can float inside the air. Works 